What it do YouTube? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about The Division 2, but specifically, we're going to be talking about the current meta. Now, before we get into all of this, guys, I want to give you guys a friendly reminder. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys click that like button and click that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my Division 2 videos. But, oh boy, the meta. Right now, the meta consists of surprisingly actually quite a few weapons there's quite a few weapons that do pretty well but nothing beats the vector you know it's crazy and this I, before this is a disclaimer before i get into this this at all this is not me crying about the, the the game i still have fun with it i i i just this is uh kind of somewhat a, a an opinion and it's also a a little bit of like um what do you call that like um I, as helpful suggestions, uh, ideas, thoughts, and I want to hear your thoughts too. So make sure you guys are hitting it up in the comment section below, telling me what you guys think about this meta. But boy, the vector. We gotta talk about the vector. The vector is crazy. It's got crazy, crazy and unmatched DPS. It's got. That's pretty much it. That's the best thing about it, to be honest, because all the SMGs come with their own base crit damage. You know, uh, nine millis and um, the um, I, I forgot what the other caliber is. I think it's point forty fives. They both can get the twenty percent damage suppressor. I don't think the MP7 can have that because the MP7 could possibly be up there. But the way the game is set up right now, um, I think the biggest problem I would say about it is the vector is putting everybody in a place where build diversity is almost non-existent everybody is building and specking towards getting oh i want to get a vector oh i want this role on my on, on this so i can use this and then it's gotten worse it's progressively gotten worse because originally i wasn't going to make this video i wasn't going to because i felt like the vector meta would be close to being over but then i realized something today i was playing with my friends and i was like wow this guy has absolutely no skill power and he's got only dps and and tank he had like nine nine in his armor rating and he had like 16 that might be a slight exaggeration but he had a high number in his dps and he was melting and this is a normalization it was crazy and now some of you are going to be screaming oh maybe you should just get good I, it's not it's not like that it's not it's not that type of complaint it, this is a problem guys because everybody is creating similar builds where things are not even being used skills are not being used you know uh, certain weapons are not being used based on the fact that the vector is king if you have a vector you're you're in a good spot if you don't have a vector you can't compete it's it's it almost feels like you can't compete now there are weapons that are out there that do pretty well the custom p416 the f2000 those guns are pretty great too like i said i'm partial to the mp7 it's still a great weapon to me but at times it seems like you cannot compete now uh you guys can correct me if i'm wrong but i'm almost positive that you can hit the one of the the, the higher crit cap with just your smg not to mention the bonus crits that you can get off of your armor and things like that now this is crazy every single person has the same weapon there is no skill in it because of the fact that you know you just get a vector you spec out to do the most damage possible and you are completely fine i saw a guy earlier inside of a game who was melting through my whole team my whole team and he had only dps and a tiny bit of skill power he didn't even have armor guys normalization is a big problem in this because normalization makes it so you're going to have a set amount of armor anyways and guess what if that armor gets melted so what because it doesn't matter if you have more armor based on the fact that that doesn't really help you because all stats are normalized so because you generally have a base health a base and a, and a, and a base armor rating the normalization it, 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 it tank builds are pretty useless i mean i think you get a little bit of bonus effects you know whatever talents that help you with that you know you can get that done um you know like the, i know the patience perk works you know so if you stay in cover for three seconds you get um five percent armor per second pretty crazy actually pretty effective if you can get somebody to not push you but 
ultimately, all you need is a shit ton of DPS, and all you need is a vector, and you're on the road to being just like everybody else. The first game, that wasn't what it was like. We got PvP late in the game, and everybody's build was different. Nobody made the same build, but I'm seeing it more and more as time goes by, and this is why I'm, I'm actually talking to you guys about it, because I want to know if you guys are comfortable with this meta, or if you guys are against this meta as much as I am. Uh, not saying the game is bad. I want to reiterate that. I wanna, I'm not saying the game is bad. I actually, I do enjoy the game. I just don't think the way they set up, you know, armor and things like that is necessarily the best way they could have done it. I actually really enjoyed the first games compared to this one and, and it's not it's not the games itself like I had a lot of fun with this game when it came to the story mode when it came to the all the content that's going to be coming out in the future I am so excited for all of that stuff world tier 5 hits on Friday along with some new content I'm excited but when it comes to PvP I I don't know I don't think that uh, I, I don't know I don't know how, what to tell you guys because I don't think that there is like whether it's the normalized pvp zone whether it's you know pvp conflict it's it's all it's all kind of toxic it's all kind of the same thing max out your dps because normalization will fix it so i'm not sure how they can fix this one guys but all i'm saying is is that it's getting worse you know every every day there's more and more bills that are all dps and no no anything else so there's going to be people that are literally trying to only run DPS and nothing else. And we either got to put caps that actually are affected or something because this is crazy. So I just want to know, like I said, how you guys feel. But I'm not going to keep rambling on. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like down below as well as clean that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my videos. And with that being said, I guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and i am out of here peace